Hello and welcome to another Altera Central technical video. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to create a custom background raster or background map, either an aerial, topo, or quad map in ArcGIS Pro for use in Trimble Access for background purposes. Okay, first we're going to go ahead and open up a new uh, map. So I'm going to call this custom background for access. And we're going to start by setting the coordinate system uh, of our map, okay? So we're going to double click on the data frame or the uh, map itself. And we're going to set the coordinate system based on how we're going to set things up in our project in access or how we already have it set up in access. So I'm going to go to state plane. Of course, if I had favorites here, I could I could pick them versus navigating through here. But I'm going to choose NAT83 2011 uh, US feet. And in my case, I am in New Mexico Central. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. And then the Z shouldn't matter for this because we're just doing XY here for a background map. So we'll hit OK. And then, of course, you're going to see the projection be applied. And we're going to go ahead and zoom in kind of to where we're going to be working. And today, let's just go ahead and zoom in here. So I'm just going to say this is going to be uh, where I'm going to be working, okay? Then I'm going to go to Export Map at the very top underneath Share. And you'll see here to the right under the output group, export map. Here we're going to pick whether it's a JPEG or a TIFF, which are both supported with Trimble Access. Okay, so now that we set our file type, I'm going to look at my path here. And by default, um, I have mine set to go directly to my Trimble Access folder here on my computer. However, if you're going to be using a, a data collector, uh, you would obviously need to take that file along with the world file email it to yourself so you could get it on your data collector or transfer via USB flash drive or cable. Uh, by default, the compression is set at 80. Um, bumping this up to 100 doesn't uh, increase the file size too much and it seems to add a little bit of clarity to the, to the background image, so I like to turn that up. And then lastly, and probably most importantly, we wanna write the world file so it knows where uh, in the world in a gridded coordinate system that it lies. And we're gonna go ahead and export that. So now that that's exported, I'm going to go to my file explorer and confirm that that is indeed in there with the world file, and it is. And now we'll go ahead and minimize everything and go into Trimble Access. We maximize this. And so I'm going to go ahead and open up um, my Connect project, and within that are my jobs. I'm going to go ahead and go to the properties of my test image background job here. You'll see I've got my coordinate system set, US survey feed, but then we have layer manager and we want to set our layer. And under the map files tab, you'll see our map in here. And we wanna make sure that we click to the left of it over here. You'll see that little checkbox. We'll hit accept and it's putting it on layer one. If we had a feature code library, we would click here for none and change that if we'd like, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit accept and open. So now we see our map here. Uh, let me go ahead and connect to my receiver. So we've now connected to my receiver, uh, Trimble Centimeter R2, and you'll see my position relative to the base map. Now obviously um, you can't zoom in super tight because these are static images, but it holds up pretty well depending on how far you go in. And that concludes our background map to Trimble Access procedures. Thank you for joining us again for another Altera Central technical video. Thank you.